The next one's on here, description. That may be useful if you're exporting the document. We won't be doing any of that in this series. Below that, we've got picture. Clicking on that brings up our picture dialog box. Save graphics. This may be handy if we use that filter and change things. Let's do some filtering. We'll go back to our mosaic of 11. 11, 11, and it's not saved anywhere but in this document. If I really like what I've done with this picture, I can right click on it, save graphic, and I'll put it right here on my desktop as, and we'll call it mosaic. Opening it up, I can see that it comes up as the mosaic that I just created. Below this, we've got caption. This allows us to write our own caption for the picture. Let's say my caption. So down below, this is what it'll look like. It has illustration. You've got a choice of some. Drawing, you can have it say drawing. And this is the number, it's number one. If I have multiple on here, it will number these automatically for me. If I don't like any of what I have you can have none or you can create your own let's say my category so that will add it in here and if I click OK we see my category my caption and now it adds it into the drop-down there's my category so when I go down to my next picture I can use my own category here Now, I didn't show this earlier, but we've got below or above. On the very first one, the above was grayed out. Now that I've added a caption, I can put this one above. I forgot to point that out, but if you rewind the video, you will see that. So I can put my caption above now. And if I want it to be above... I've got to click outside, now click back in, and I can delete this. I can leave it right now if I want it on top. If I click backspace, it brings my text underneath. And then I would have to right click and bring it back up again. But also that's how you would remove your caption, is click outside the box, click back in, and basically it's putting it inside a frame. And then you can just delete it right there, and our caption is gone. And because it's in a frame, it's kind of difficult to work with now. So if you don't like the captions, your best bet is just to delete this whole frame out and insert your picture again and start again with that. This next one, edit with external tool. When I click that, for me, it opens it up in paint.net because I have that set as my default when opening up a PNG file. To make this a little clearer, I've got my PNG on my desktop. If I double click this, it opens it up in paint.net. Now to change my open default, I would right click Go down to Open With, choose Default Program. I would want to make sure that this box here is checked to always use the selected program for this kind of file. I'm going to select Paint, and it opens it up now. When I close it, now if I double click, it opens it up with Paint. image map now this looks real similar to what we saw with the contour I'm going to select the rectangle and select this lower left hand corner 
make that active. If anyone clicks in here, we're going to want them, they can either open up another document like we saw earlier or go to a URL. I'm going to say go to a URL, thefrugalcomputerguy.com. Clicking the apply. Now I've got to click off the graphic. When I come back, nothing happens when I'm on these three quarters of it. But if I go to this last quarter, holding down control, I get a hand, which tells me I can open up that hyperlink. Clicking it, we see it takes me right to that web page.